Hello, my name is Eric Roeder and I work in business development for Codelation. My team of elite nerds is dedicated to helping turn big ideas into first customers. Building apps and helping develop new businesses allows me to meet amazing people. These people are doing amazing things in our tech community and my actual community of Fargo, North Dakota. I wanted to start a platform to help business leaders and other great people in our community tell their story. Connecting with amazing people is my job. Welcome to my office. My guest this week is Luke Hummerding. He works for the YMCA, and they have this awesome Pay It Forward campaign that they're starting up, and they're also doing their Burn the Bird run, and we're going to chat about both of them this week. Welcome, 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 Internet. I'm here with Luke Hummerding of the YMCA. We're going to do, this is our second episode with the YMCA, because I just did some research, and gyms and nonprofits could probably use a little lift this year. Absolutely. And, and, and we want to help you guys out going into 2020, 2021. So before we get into some of the things that you have going on here, Luke, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, Luke Humberding, been at the YMC of Cass and Clay Counties here uh, for just over five years. Started working at the member services desk at the Schlossman Y mm -hmm. over um, near West Fargo there and um, moved my way up. Did some summer camp management and uh, youth sports and things like that. Got to really learn about the mission there and then now oversee membership for the last year and a half or so. So it's been a wild ride. Yeah. Learning a ton, especially this year. But I, This uh, has been the good. wildest of rides in my life. Oh, my <laughs> this, goodness. This year. And so yep. one of the things that I just truly respect about the YMCA is your dedication to you know, community and inclusiveness. And so you have this awesome program coming up called Pay It Forward. Can we talk about that campaign a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. So just how you can be in the drive through at Starbucks and you want to uh, do a good deed and pay for the person's coffee behind you, we have a program set up just like that at YMCA Cast Clay where you can pay for someone's um, family membership, mm -hmm. individual membership, or even if um, that's too much money, then there's opportunities to even support someone in need to do a, a youth program as well for the year uh, 2021. I just, uh, again, uh, we've, we've lost some community this year. And next going into next year, I want to fight to bring it back. And this just sounds amazing. And so how would a normal person or even a business get involved in this? Yeah, so um, the why. Cast Clay, we are already set to do a handful of individual and family memberships, and that's supported by our annual campaign. We have so many great donors that, that give to the Y year-round through that program, mm -hmm. and then um, there's going to be individual donors and also business sponsors as well that want to get involved with this program. And when we look for people that are eligible to receive these memberships or program opportunities. Mm -hmm. um, you just need to nominate either online at ymcacasclay.org, yep. and you can go to Pay It Forward, and there is the nomination form right on there. Or if you're in town, you can swing into our Furco or Schlossman YMCAs and fill out a form there. It just needs to be in and submitted by November 30th. And that was my next question. So, oh man, <laughs> we'll just skip ahead on the <laughs> no. So, no, that's fine. We'll no, we'll shift gears a little bit. You guys also have, a, you know, you do a lot of events, and you're doing burn burn the bird again. Can we talk about what that is? Burn the bird, man. The uh, COVID's been tough because every year this has grown so well, mm -hmm. and the costumes we see, it's Thanksgiving morning, mm -hmm. it's 12 degrees outside, and you see hundreds of turkeys <laughs> running across <laughs> Island Park downtown. It's amazing. Uh, we had just over a 1,000 people do it last year. That but is with, insane. <laughs> with, with COVID, we said, hey, yeah. we still want to do this. We want people to um, have the flexibility, mm -hmm. uh, especially going virtually with the event. Um, but get outside, burn off some energy, do something fun as a family before before you eat that turkey and um, take the take that day off. So um, virtual registration, that can be found on our website as well. It's mm -hmm. this great race we do through Soul Motion Racing. Yep. And, um, you know, get a sweatshirt this year. 
Lots of really cool swag. Usually it's a t-shirt and um, they, they stepped up the game. Really cool sweatshirt, a medal and a bib, of course. And the hashtag is burn the bird because we want to see the the cool I, outfits running around I your neighborhood. I like that, just creeping on a random hashtag, <laughs> and it's it's kind of fun. And so, but it's a little different being virtual this year, in the fact that there's like a date range, isn't there? Like you, it's not just Thanksgiving. Yep, absolutely. We we know that sometimes Thanksgiving Day itself uh, can be a lot to make sure that um, the house is clean and ready yeah. for the family. So the dates are actually between November 19th and 29th yep. that you can can do this run and it's 5k or 10k whatever yeah. you're comfortable with and you can walk or run it we just want people to be up and moving and, and have a good time and and this that has been one of my excuses every year not doing like <laughs> oh I'm out of town and I'm so full of turkey I can't do this and so I actually I made a business chart this week kind of going over my running history and I how much <laughs> these are like this is the year and my excuse i'm like oh my fingers might get cold or it's too sweaty in the summertime or like allergies are gonna kill me or geese are gonna kill me and like there's this little jump where like i'm too full of turkey and now th- there's there's the window <laughs> right there in a the small little gap of time that i can run in the year I think you're good to go. No I, excuses. I have no excuses, which is trouble for me because I, I just am not a runner. Yeah, <laughs> it's been pretty cool. Um, so everyone kind of finishes at different times, especially in the in the past years where it, it could be 45 and sunny, or mm-hmm. last year it was cold. Uh, so everyone was coming in across the finish line and had the frosted oh, eyelashes geez, and everything, yeah. but they were having fun. And again, the costumes, I really hope that for everyone that joins in, and does this virtual run that they get dressed up, embrace it, and we can keep this going for many years to come. Princess Eric isn't a fan of frosty <laughs> <laughs> like when you're jogging. But um, can we talk about, I mean, this is, it's a fun fundraiser. What do the proceeds of this go to? Yeah, what we're really excited and passionate about is there's going to be proceeds from all the registrations this year mm-hmm. going directly to our Livestrong program here at Y Cast Clay. So oh, awesome. that's a program we've been doing for many years where, you know, we have um, people going battling cancer at the moment in remission, uh, working on recovering and rebuilding that strength and then having a safe, fun, supportive place to go. Mm-hmm. So live strong at the Y, very passionate about it. And uh, we're just super excited that these proceeds from Burn the Bird can go to support a great program like that. No, I, again, you guys are so inclusive and awesome. And we'll circle back a bit. Believe it or not, this conversation has gone over the board. And that's kind of what you, happens when you sit down with me. <laughs> <laughs> so, is there anything our audience can do to help with Pay It Forward or Burn the Bird? I think with Pay It Forward, think of that neighbor or friend or family um, that could just really use some help and needs a safe place to go like the YMCA. It's getting dark out um, earlier and earlier. It's getting cold. You know, um, a, a physical pandemic can turn into a, a mental pandemic mm-hmm. very quickly. And, and the Y is one of those places you can go. And now it's it's more important than ever to focus on your health. Mm-hmm. Uh, we feel that we have enough safety procedures put in place where the Y is a safe place to go. So fill out that nomination form, individual, family, or a kiddo that could benefit from, from playing some sports mm-hmm. and get them in the door and burn the bird, sign up. No excuses, no cool excuses. sweatshirts, <laughs> and um, and remember to have some fun. I, I like that. And I like that most of How can we help you? You help people that you know in our community, and that's how you help the YMCA, which is meta, and but it's awesome. Yep. And so, so yeah, you can't come down here and not get a nerd question. Love our, it. Yeah, no, our friend Anna was supposed to be on here, and I had a very like specific new parent nerd question but you're a new parent too and four so, yep four so, month old boy yeah so this this will work for you what disney movie are you going to force your children to watch and like aladdin all day long i can show you the world <laughs> please don't <laughs> and yeah. so yeah Al, that's actually so if anyone asks me like what my favorite actual all-time movie like aladdin is my favorite so the yeah old school animated on a vhs like i, I don't know about vh <laughs> i have it on like every platform I'm like oh the newest 
platinum release of something on a blue uh, yeah, every time they re-release it i'm like yeah just take my money disney mm-hmm. and yeah, yeah i yeah. i love aladdin and so yeah nerd questions I mean it's usually time to wrap things up did you have anything else luke no i just really appreciate uh the support mm-hmm. spreading the word pay it forward great program burn the bird let's have some fun and we'll get through this winter together all right well yeah thanks for taking some time out here uh, everybody check out pay it forward go eat some turkey and then jog sometime that week and say have a good week everyone thank you please be recording i was recording that whole time (laughs)